perfect straight up and down. Well, that, where he is, I bet you that water would be... Yeah, because this is, it'd probably be that deep right there. I bet you it'd be 15 feet probably there. Roughly. So yeah, we're now Is that 11. a three quarter ton or half ton? Three, it's a one ton. Oh, really? 500, yeah. So 11 feet exact there. So it's more shallow here? No, it's deeper here. And about ice is a little thin, about an inch thinner here than everywhere else. Okay, just watch right along that crack line. Okay, I wouldn't go much further than that. It should still it should be pretty thick though. Well, it's got to be that thick, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I made some cracking noises. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's sick. Honestly, we could recover it over there and pull it this way but then we need to get it from where it is here like out of here yeah why don't we just get like a what you call it, a black hawk yeah does anyone know if uh, <laughs> these sparks is busy as we can <laughs> we could drill holes a bunch of holes back there and then have our quads over there anchored run winch lines up here and then have all the lines here and pull it backwards but we'd have to tie off to the axle so we'd have to chip ice away from the axle i wonder how thick that is or how hard it froze okay incoming my luck i almost fall and i <laughs> It'll be right after that crack. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be spicy. <laughs> coming in. Oh, let me just get in here quick. <laughs> oh, this feels good now, but it's gonna hurt in a couple seconds. <laughs> What's that? Well, yeah, okay, orange one. And then a no, and then just a big clevis. Because that's staying anchored there. <laughs> now we need one of the blue hooked we need both blue hooked cables. Higher. Higher. Oh it just caught on the shock mount. There we go. Watch your leg. Ooh. These gloves are so solid.
that other one will come out. It'd be nice to set up yours so that you could pull it and have another anchor ready with another quad with a winch line to like two feet past yours. So then we can start pulling with that quad. Yours will go loose. Quickly pull that one out, get your quad back okay. there. But I okay. would need to run and go grab another post. Well, we should grab another... I think there's three more. Three. Because it might not be a bad idea if we drill two holes through that crack and get timbers under that ice on top of the harder ice so it won't kick down. A lot of buoyancy here. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I think. No. <laughs> if you. Oh yeah. No, it's, that's how much. <sighs> but whatever, we'll leave it at that. <sighs> yeah, it's not on the ground yet. It's not on the ground. Okay, well we'll try it. Okay. Well, I guess these guys can. Lucas can easily go around the quad. Holiday can. We can stand over here and. This. I got the wireless one, buddy. I just this is, keep wall. going in. If we do this, stop. If we're like this, keep going, stop. So I'll have my quad. Hey, we're all hooked up there? Yeah. We're gonna try this. We went to the rims. We wanted to go around the axle, but it's obviously the water's open and stuff. We can't get in there. So we're pulling on the rims. Hopefully it's gonna come back and stay above. We got these timbers at the back here for this slab ice that's broke away because that's a fresh crack there. There's only about four inches holding that. So I have a funny feeling it's going to break that away. I'm hoping it'll kick it up or the timbers will keep it up. But we're going to put a pull on it and see how it reacts and try and at least get it back to these timbers. I'm worried the front tires are going to catch on that slab that's under there, but there's so many unknowns. This is just trial by fire here without getting those timbers under. And as you can see, there's a large ice ridge here and they tried to cross the ice ridge. It's all around here. So this ice right here is pretty compromised. So we have a compound layup. We rigged for roughly 20,000 pounds we're estimating. We might be over rigged. We got all those timbers you see there are anchors. We got two there anchored for the three quarter inch line coming up to a block. Back to uh, another block that's off of that second. Anchor back there, comes up to another block, goes back to another anchor, and then this block here goes to that anchor, which redirects it back to the far anchor behind the quad, and then that's two parted to the quad there. Roughly, we're saying around what 1250? Yeah, 1250. The quad's pulling. If it pulls heavy, we're gonna do another layup back there, but we're gonna give her a go at this or run out of daylight, so try it. Steed. We'll see if we can get out. We changed some rigging down here. We added another anchor, so something is gonna happen in the next three feet. Old fucking China winch didn't fucking hold up. It says 35. I'm pretty sure it's 500.
Oh my goodness, thank God. It's day three here. We're just uh, getting geared up to head back out into the lake. It's gonna be an interesting day here. We got a truck here uh, chained up. We're gonna use this to bring it across the lake once we get it across the heave. doing you really keep an eye on your truck somebody listen for crocs nobody in this area and nobody on the inside of the cable because if that pole were to snap the line's coming this way and this line's coming this way so Day three here is complete. Got the truck off the ice there, as you can see. Yeah, fucking love swinging chain. Do my little dancey dance. I've got my pants with bands. Quit playing the nigga.